G'day guys, m 10 here. here. Um, we are going to learn about image-based texturing within the uh, Blender... Oh, excuse me. Uh, Octane Blender series plugin. Um, uh, the textures we'll be using is Diffuse, Bump, Normal, Spec, and Alpha. So, um, instead of, I think, uh, back in like back in like 2011 when I started this, I think I used like different diffuse, glossy, and specular for each. I'm just going to do it on one object, uh, on one material, since it pretty much just works hand in hand. And you should already know, know how to use Octane standalone. So, let's get started. Uh, let's make this a bit more bigger. Alright, go to your rendered viewports. Now, let's click on the monkey. This monkey is pre- UV wrapped pre everything. I'll be uploading this scene as an OBJ file with the MLT, so you don't have to worry about any of that. You can use this. All right, so we're going to be using the uh, specular. So Shift A, Octane Shader, Glossy. Whoops, I selected the floor. There we go. Octane Shader, Glossy, and BAM. Alright, so... Yeah, that's good. So, now, to add a texture, we're going to do Diffuse first, or Occlusion, as some fancy people like to call it, is Shift A, Octane Texture. Now you have Octane Image Texture, Octane Float Image Texture, Texture, Octane Alpha Image Texture. Um, we're going to be using the Octane Image X image texture. Wow, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, now, uh, connect that node to the diffuse and press the open. And then go to your saved... There we go. Five beautifully named. Okay, so apart from the atrocious UV wrapping, um, you can see the image texture is now on. Um, pretty simple. Uh, just how it would be in Maya, standalone, and yeah. Uh, now we uh, for the next we'll be doing a um, normal. We'll be doing normal first and a bump. Actually, I think I might do the bump first. So for the bump mapping, uh, image texture. Um, use a float image. It um, since it's only black and white values, I find that this is much more reliable, much more effective, um, and everything. So connect that to the bump. Open the image texture. So call the, the call call the bump. And as you can see, it is now working. It's now been affected. Bump mapping. Turn up the power. And also you have your scaling. You have your gamma for each. Ah, oh, I can't believe I forgot about that. Uh, yep. So you have your gamma controls. You have your scaling controls. This does nothing, just FYI. The bottom scale wire does nothing. Um, so you can scale that in between there. So that's the bump mapping for you. So let's just uh, cancel that out. So let's not, can't not delete it, just put it to the side. Again, Shift A, and this time we'll, get, we'll be getting an image texture. Let's say texture weird. Go to normal and summon your normal texture and as you can see it works just like the uh, bump however it has way more different way more attributes to it and you can edit and you know and do your crazy bump so that's the normal texture and this is all still being all on the uh, material um, and just because we can let's just add these two together not much of a difference but let's just do it just so you can see what we've been doing so far next is the specular so go to the specular image texture image 
and put that to the specular. The specular is a specular highlights within the uh, image texture. Very useful for rainy, wet, or whenever you want to control the reflectivity. So let's just turn this up, turn the reflection up. And let's just very quickly disconnect these just so we can see a difference. As you can see, all the white highlights are the ones that have been uh, controlled. This is from the specular map. Um, so this can really help with metal materials, gaming, and other types of uh, textures that involve metal. So, um, what else? For image, um, which is useful for grass, leaves, among other um, transparent uh, textures such as flags and uh, bushes and such. Um, so I've already uh, UV wrapped it. Make sure you do re UV wrap it because nothing will show up. I've learned that the hard way. Um, so go to your image. Now there's two separate ways to do this so I'll just um, load up the usual way. Uh, first let's get an image out. So Octane Image Texture. Now the cool thing is this little button here can you can load up previous stuff so I'm just going to load up a uh, green texture. Just bear with me. Um, so we can see the how to do the first technique. So first thing to do is go to Octane Shader Texture Image and connect this to the opacity um, open and go to the image texture that I will uh, put in the tutorial so as you can see this is with the black and white attributes and such two separate uh, next is the following so let's delete this so that's one way to do it image texture into the opacity. Next is the alpha image texture. So connect this to the diffuse and open up a image that is colored but has a transparent background. So we're going to right click, go to texture, alpha image texture, texture, alpha, uh, image texture, so image texture and alpha texture. So connect this to the diffuse, connect this to the opacity um, and open your image that is colored and both has a uh, alpha background. I have this leaf here as you can see and I'm also going to load that here leaf 6. And as you can see from the same image we now have both uh, now we now we have a, a color that also has the alpha channel in it. However, you need two nodes to separate the different channels. That's the different technique. I usually use this this technique, but this is if your image supports alpha backgrounds such as PNG and such. So that's pretty much uh, pretty much it for image based texturing uh, to show you where the options are um, and what to do and stuff. Uh, next tutorial we'll be learning how to do emitters, temperature emitters, texture textures for emitters and IES lights so that will be fun and I'll also upload that scene too so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time